Hi there, welcome to a fierce twist. On our menu today is the ultimate chicken life soup prepared Ghanaian style. Yes, this was tasty, easy to make and of course my twisted version. Stick with me as we do this together. For the best result, you want to use tough chicken or the hen. I already cleaned my chicken, so let's get right into our marinade. I'll be using one medium-sized red onion, garlic, ginger, black peppercorns, anise seed, dried thyme, salt. I'll add some water, blend this together and pour it over my chicken. I'll be adding some chicken seasoning, bay leaf, and we're going to cook our chicken over medium heat with the lid on stirring in between from time to time for about 25 to 30 minutes. We'll be using two medium-sized red onions, three tomatoes, four garden eggs, and four habanero chilies, which I already cleaned. I'll be cutting my garden eggs into two and add it to the rest of my veggies into a pot. Add some water and put this to a boil for 15 minutes. Now let's check on our chicken and see how it's doing. And our chicken has taken up all the flavors from the aromatics we added and that broth is thickening up so beautifully. This broth is all flavor and our soup is going to be so delicious. We're checking on our vegetables and they're all cooked. We're going to blend our tomatoes, garden eggs and habanero chilies together strain them back into the soup to get rid of the chaff and i'll be blending my vegetables with the same water that we used to cook them and friends if it's your first time here welcome to a fierce twist kindly remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that anytime we drop a video you will be the first to be i'll notified. rinse my blender and use the water to help strain the vegetables back into the soup I'll equally blend my onions and add this to the soup without straining. I'm using 3 quarters cup of tomato paste and I'll be adding 1 cup of water to dilute And after some this. brisk stirring, I'll add this to my soup. And depending on how light or thick you like your soup, you may add in more water. I added 2 cups of water and this consistency was just right for me. We'll allow our chicken to continue cooking for another 30 minutes. This will tenderize our chicken some more and allow the flavors to further increase. And we'll be adding an extra layer of vegetables into our soup for some more flavor. And it's time to add our vegetables. We'll be cutting the stem ends off as well as the tail of the okra. I'll taste for salt and allow our soup to simmer. And a steady simmer at this point is prepared as this helps to develop our flavors some more. And as our veggies are simmering to cook, our home is bursting with all these flavors and goodness. And friends, you are all invited. I'll be finishing this off with a touch of fresh basil and this was just right. And as a soup consisting mainly of chicken, vegetables, a base of water, chicken broth, spices and herbs, these are all goodness and flavor which took the soup into the realm of delectable. And the flavors and aromatics in my home at this moment is just splendid. Friends, you should definitely give this one a try. This was tasty and so good. I paired this with some soft fufu and it was just right. And the flavors from each ingredient blended perfectly to complement each other. And this soup was so tasty. friends you should try this recipe don't forget to like this video and share with your friends and family and if it's your first time here this is a PS twist and you are so welcome you make cooking an enjoyable experience 
and until I see you guys in the next one, bye from a fierce twist.